Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Essence of Shay. Let's get started. I know I told you guys in a previous video that I wanted to cut my locks and I had a lot of comments. Why do you want to cut your locks? Why not just do a cleansing? This and this and this. And I appreciate you guys so much for your comments. But I also got another question about, okay, so if you started your locks, what would you do different? And that was a good question because there are different types of ways that you can start your locks. And I just wanted to show you. So here are five ways that you can start your locks today if you're planning on starting locks, if you want to redo your locks, if you have somebody who wants to do locks. These are five different ways that you can it's do it. organically. Kind of like, what's that singer's name? Mm, what's his name? I hate when I have brain farts when I do these videos. The Weeknd, yes. You see how he had like the tree trunk type thing going on? That organically happened. He just let his hair grow and combine together. And you know, after a while, I'm pretty sure he sculpted it into a certain way, but it already was like, you know, it was already coming into its own. Basically like free forming. That's what, if you're like organically shaped, it's basically like free forming your hair. You just let your hair do what it does, leave it alone. You don't detangle it, you don't twist it. You just wash it so it won't be stank and functified and holy ghost spirit and you just let it grow. The only setbacks that I would say about this option is you never know like how your hair is going to come out. But it's almost good because it's like a surprise. You're surprising yourself and frankly everybody else because we all know what you're doing. The next one I would say is sister locks. Everyone knows sister locks because a lot of people gravitate to six, little, 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 little. A lot of people gravitate to sister locks. If you're more active, if you live in, if you do corporate America, if you don't really want the thick, the thickerization that you can sometimes get from locks, you can go down the sister lock um, aisle. It's super nice, it's super elegant, super chic, and they're easy to do. They're basically like two-stranded twists, I would say, all throughout your hair. It takes some time to get done. And the only drawbacks that I would say, um, because I know a few people who have sister locks and they've always told me that it took them a little longer for their hair to actually lock than doing it the old fashioned lock way. Old fashioned lock way. Aha! The next uh, thing to do when starting your locks is lock extensions. Now you guys know how I feel about lock extensions, but that shouldn't stop you if this is what you want to do. Usually people go with lock extensions if they don't want to go on the quote unquote ugly stage or uncomfortable stage. And they, they clip on or they get lock extensions added onto their hair until their hair grows to a certain length and then they take it out. The drawbacks that I would say for this is you can't really color your hair with lock extensions. I feel like you can't color your hair. And I feel like it probably be a little heavier because there's added hair onto your hair. You get what I'm saying? And then I also feel like your locks won't lock as fast, or would they? Before I even say that, that's a question to ask. Would your hair lock as fast if it's in lock extensions or will it take the same amount of time? But anyways, yeah, that's another option that you guys can uh, choose are lock extensions. And I know a few people who have had lock extensions, like my god sister. She had lock extensions for about two years and uh, she had comb coils and she added the lock extensions to it or something like that. But it was easy for her as well because when she took it out, she realized that she didn't want locks anymore. So it was easy for her to comb out her locks. I remember doing it for her. It took so long to comb out her locks. Jesus. That's why a lot of people are like, Shay, you could comb out your hair. Do you know how long this is going to take? Are you going to help? No. 
bye bye another option would be comb coils you guys know comb coils they're usually the more traditional route that people who started in locks would get like my brother he started off with comb coils and um comb coils <laughs> are taking a comb and just coiling your hair you can do this this method i know for sure you can do with any texture of hair nappy soft whatever we all can do comb coils the only drawbacks with comb coils is that they take a while to actually lock up now if you're starting your hair off really short that will wouldn't take that long to lock but you if you're starting your hair long comb coils take a while because inside of the lock it's it's hollow it's shallow there's nothing in there so you know with locks it's formed because the, the hair kind of meshes and detangles together so that's what the hair is going to have to do eventually so it's going to take it a while before it even gets to that stage but you're left with some nice looking locks and they are if done right they are they do come out thick like my brother's hair is coming out really thick and nice and he started off with comb coils and i was a little like taken back like bro you shouldn't have did that but now i'm seeing like it actually you can actually get some thick locks with doing comb coils you have to just just keep into mind the amount that you do and the technician is she doing it right last but not least is what you guys know that i started my locks with was two stranded twists and i started my two stranded twists it took me forever to get it locked forever honestly do not know why it took this dang on long for it to lock up it took about a year and a half for my hair to lock and for the uh twisted uh twist the lining in the two stranded twist to disappear which i was fine with but that took a while for it to disappear but the most annoying part is that it took forever forever to actually lock and this could be the combination of my hair texture because my hair is soft it could have been because my hair was already long I don't know what it was, but it just took forever for it to lock up. But the, the flip side to it is that my hair came out thick. So I always tell people, whether you do comb coils or two-stranded twists, it all depends on the size. With two-stranded twists especially, it depends on the size of your two-stranded twist. In the beginning, I could talk more about this because this is what I went through. In the beginning, it raveled a little bit at the ends. So I had to make sure that when I was uh, maintaining my locks, I always... Uh, retwisted from the top to the bottom now it's just more focused on the root but in the beginning i had to go all the way down until the entire lock was formed also with my two stranded twist i did the um the palm rolling method i didn't use any combs in my hair did casey use combs but that was after my hair was already locked she used combs to just grip the root. But other than that, I I kind of stuck with the palm rolling method. I, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped you guys out with the different ways that you can start your locks or redo your locks or help somebody else get going with their locks. If I missed out any other ways that you can do your locks, leave comments below i thank you guys so much for watching let's get this to a hundred likes if you haven't already click that subscribe button join the family if you haven't already please go to my website embrace your queendom vibe and paint eventbrite.com and get your tickets today thank you guys for coming to my first event which was finding your purpose this one will be about self-love and peace and all that jazz i see you guys later tiger lilies i sound like a robot see you later tiger lilies toodles